What's up everybody, how you doing? And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to change iPhone keyboard. And when I hear this sentence, I immediately think of two things. First of all, you may want to know how to change the language of the keyboard. Maybe this is the thing. Maybe that's the reason why you are searching for the video, how to change iPhone keyboard. Or maybe you just want to change the type, like you want to have something different, maybe a colorful keyboard. So I'm gonna show you how you can do both of this. And let's begin right now. You may have noticed that I have a new icon on the screen. And if you don't know what that is, then you should take a look at my previous video. And and there I'm exactly talking about this IGTV or Instagram TV. I have explained it properly, I hope, so check it out if you don't know what that is. And also I want to say if you are interested in this type of content then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that way you will always be informed. Let's talk about the first option and that is that you would like to change the language of the keyboard. And if you are using it the normal way you probably know that if you hold down to this emoji or the world you're gonna know this that you can choose from all of these keyboards that you have set up in the settings. Right now I only have the option to use English or emoji or I have the option to get to the keyboard settings right away. So if you don't have the language you want to choose right here, you need to go to this keyboard settings and it's gonna bring you right here. If not, you just have to go to the settings the normal way and navigate to general and scroll down and open up the keyboard section. It is the very same thing. One way or another, you need to get here and click on the keyboard at the top. And now these are these two keyboards I was talking about. If you want to change something about this, you can click on it and maybe you choose from this type of mode. Anyways, I want to add a new keyboard. So you have this option right here. So just click on this option in order to choose a new keyboard. And here, if you scroll down, should be all the keyboards you are looking for. So just pick the one that you like, find your language. I just click on this one. And now if I come back into this keyboard menu, I can hold down here and I, I have this option here. And it basically changes the keyboard and it looks like this. It is that easy and if this is what you wanted to get and this is what you wanted to have, then I hope I have helped you with this. But I believe that many people or the majority of the people watching this video came here to know how to change the keyboard by means of the design or the functionality, not the language. And if this is the case, then you do not have many options. You can, for example, choose from this one-handed keyboard if you hold down here once again. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm experiencing some sort of glitch. But anyways, here it is. You, I, I know it is great, but these are probably the only options that you can use from the stock Apple iOS keyboard. Also, some of the things you can customize if you are only using the stock iOS keyboard are, for example, the text replacement. So you can put some phrase and then some shortcut. And if you put in that shortcut, the whole phrase will show up on the screen. So I think it is very useful, but this is everything what you can get. If you want to have some other options, however, you can, of course, get it. And you have the option to download some third-party keyboards from the App Store since iOS 8, I believe, and it is still available. So on the App Store, you need to find some keyboard that you like and then install it. And then you, of course, gonna be using it. I will try this one. It's called Better Fonts. And if I open it up, I'm going to show you what to do. You have to install this keyboard into the iOS. So inside the app, you also have all of these tabs, but I'm going to show it to you. And it's going to be for every keyboard you download from the App Store. You need to go to the settings and head over to the general and to the keyboard once again. And here, when you click on the keyboards and add a new keyboard, you're going to see the option and the keyboard that you have just downloaded. Oh, well, here is the section for third-party keyboards and I have downloaded two of them. It is Better Fonts and Swift Key, so you have to click on every single one that you want. And now again, when you swipe down or anywhere access the keyboard, you need to hold down to this globe, which is going to be placed in the lower left corner. You have to hold down to it and switch to the keyboard that you have just downloaded or the one that you just want, basically. So I'm going to choose the Better Fonts right now. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is a different keyboard. You can only choose the settings that this application offers me. So I have some different fonts or whatever. I'm not sure about it, but I will take a look at this and I will put some links to some really interesting keyboards in the description of this video. So go ahead and check it out. And you can also download those keyboards to your iOS device in case you are interested. But I think that SwiftKey is the one that you want to have because it is really cool. And this keyboard allows you to use, as you can see, it is optimized with all of these accounts. You can use it on pretty much every single portable or mobile device and it should work really well. You have multiple options. For example, you have the themes and you can choose the one that you like. So you're not only stuck with this white one, you can choose from all of the colors. 
and it's really interesting you have so many new options you can check out in case you have been only using the one from Apple the stock keyboard even though that one is really good I have no complaints about it but it has no customization and this one has pretty much everything so in case you are tired and sick with this old iOS keyboard then you should take a look at something others and the first one should be the Swift key in my opinion Swift key flow is also one of the things or one of the new features that is really awesome. In order for you to use all of the features, you need to enable full access to the keyboard. So you have to go like this and as you can see, you also have the steps right here. So you have to go to the settings, Swift key keyboard and allow full access. So yeah, you have to click allow and now you should have all of the options and all of the features available. As you can see, predictions are here. You also have the Swift flow or whatever that is. There are many of other options, but this is probably the best one. And now I want to say thank you very much for watching i really hope you found this video useful and informative if you did just like all the time i want you to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this then definitely hit that subscribe button as well and see you in the next video peace out guys